All right, so in this video, we're going to be looking at how to create our own custom field in Filament PHP. For this example, I'm going to create a slot component so that you can see how we can easily, within 10 minutes, add slot component into our app. So I've already gone ahead and created an article migration and an article model here for this project. And what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go into article resource. And in here, let's just go ahead and add in a text input, make title. Then we're going to have a rich editor for the content. And then in a moment or so, we're going to have something in here for the slug as well. But for now, let's just uh, take a look at how we can do this. So you can either just make a text input component or you can make a custom form. So you can actually, in Filament PHP, just make your own custom form builder. Uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go up and open project resources here. And in here, inside the app folder, inside Filament, we want to go in and just add in a component here. So I'm going to go and create a components folder inside a forms folder. So I'm going to call this components. And in here, what I want to go ahead and do is I want to go ahead and make sure we have a slock.php. So I'm just going to call this slock.php. And what we really want to go ahead and do in here is we just want to add in a namespace in here, but we want to have our page film and forms components. And here we want to call this class slock and it needs to extend upon the field component inside filament. And we want to have a protected string view. In this case, I'm just going to have a form component slug. So let's go ahead into our resources folder. And inside our resources folder, we want to create this component. So we want to go in to the views file here and create a forms folder and components and then inside this components folder here we want to have slug the blade the php and in here what we need is we need some basic styling here so we want to go ahead and create an x dynamic component This X dynamic component should have a component taking it as a prop. I'm gonna actually just copy this in here to save the time, but we're basically requiring the component in here as a prop, and then we're requiring the field, just like that. And then we need the styling here. So for this, what we can go ahead and do is we can just say div and add in the classes. which is just uh, two from the filament uh, website using a fixed element. And then we want to make sure we also pass through some X data in here. So X data is going to be in this case state, and then we want to use wire and we want to entangle it. And in this case, we're just going to entangle this and we're going to get the path just like this. So basically what we're just doing here is we're getting the path here. And what we want to do then is just have the input class as well. So we just want to have an input and in this case, we just want to have a type of text. We want to add in some classes again. And some other code here. So let's just go in and add this here. Okay. 
All right, so we have type text here. We have x model as state and x input state. We, in this case, make it a lowercase target. We have a regular expression in here to replace it with a slash. In this case, we have all these classes set in here, just like default filament classes. Quite a lot of classes in here. So it doesn't look very nice right now with that, but let's go back to that in a minute. So for now, let's see if we can get this to work using the slot component now. So if we had inside here, what we should be able to do is we should just be able to say get value. And we want to return a string here. In here, we just want to return, in this case, the value, which is going to be um, value is going to equal to parent get value. And then we want to in here, in this case, just say return str slug value. And in this case, by doing this, we should now be able to head back in to our application. I'm just going to go ahead and log in. Go into the articles one here. Let's go in and add in this component that we just created. So we want to call this slug make slug. And you can see if we type in here, it seems to work fine. So if I go in and write test here, let's see if we can create something. Perfect. So if we head into our create articles table, you can see we have these here and inside the article model, I've set the guarded to an empty array so that it easily adds it to the database. But yeah, this is how we can easily create it. So the only other thing it, we could do here is to tidy it up if you want to, and if you're working with a custom filament theme, is you could add it into the theme.css file and apply the values there instead of having to go through uh, very long classes inside this components file here. But that's all for this video. I do appreciate you watching the video and let me know how you're getting on with it down in the comment section below. And if you have any other questions, Please feel free to ask. Please hit the like and subscribe button.